welcome to Thursday's uh, video cast. We have a backdoor cold front moving southeast across uh, southern New England. But first, look at the plumes of moisture out to our west, which is going to work up into Canada in a fashion like this. Come back down into southern New England and deliver us a raw, chilly rainstorm and even some snow for higher elevations. You can see just uh, <laughs> plumes of moisture coming up out of Texas straight up into Canada and then working down here into the northeast at the same time you can see a backdoor cold front working down from Maine as far as the national radar composite goes uh, moisture down here in Texas and uh, instability moisture up here in the upper Midwest and then some starting to form here and that's basically the trend in the storm track it's going to take as you can see it working up there and then starting to dive down here into New England we should see rain starting to fall later tonight um, not heavy but definitely steady rain let's take you in <coughs> excuse me to the clouds you can see that back to a cold front working and it's already swept through the area and then you can see the clouds from our approaching storm coming from Canada which has cold air associated with it. Look at that cold front that's already pushed through. The temperatures have dropped dramatically. It's uh, about 56 degrees here in Brockton. We'll take you into some local temperatures here just in a second, but you can see what's going on in the clash of air mass. Here you can see some temperatures up here. Very cool along the eastern seaboard. 53 here in Brockton, 56 in Andover, 58 in Tawny. Move out here, we're close to 70 in the lower 70s here in uh, Connecticut near Rocky Hill in the Connecticut River Valley. And you can see that line. And that's from that backdoor cold front working in from the north, northeast. We'll take a look at the surface map for around. Uh, this is for tomorrow. Again, those showers, uh, high pressure to our south, but a cold front right along and low pressure to our north will be diving to the southeast and delivering that rainfall here into New England. Basically Thursday night, maybe as into Sunday as you can see, see here in the future cast we move through. Uh, tonight, maybe about midnight, we should start to see some light rain or even drizzle. That will be mixing with snow across the higher elevations of Worcester County to the north of Worcester, into the Monadnocks, into south southern New Hampshire. Could actually see some accumulating snow between Thursday night and Saturday. One to two inches, maybe up to as much as three inches of snow amazing stuff. We could even see some snowflakes mixing in from time to time anywhere in southern New England if we get into some heavier bursts. High temperatures for Friday, 41, 40, 46. Uh, just very chilly for this time of year. Cold temperatures. Sorry about that guys. Hold on a second here. Uh, the overnight lows for Friday, cold enough to support some snowflakes, even to the coastal plain. So uh, if we're not in a dry slot and it's, snow and it's raining heavily, I would not be surprised to see some flakes. There's the setup uh, for Friday. Either way, if it's not raining, it's going to be uh, raw, drizzly. You can actually see some severe weather breaking out across uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and into Pennsylvania. Saturday and a Saturday night, you can see that bike. It looks like a tooth of, uh, of snow in the higher elevations above a thousand feet. It will be accumulating uh, in this area as that low crawls along Saturday, Saturday night. Let's uh, move into the models now, guys. And you can see that storm up here at its uh, current positioning, and this is where it's expected to go to dive down and then form off of southern New England. Whether it bombs out, we'll. we'll still have to see on that. Um, if it does bomb out, it's definitely going to bring cold air in and, and, and snow will break out in most areas, expect, even here to the coast. So we really have to watch this, guys. There's a battle zone right over us with cold and warm air. And, uh, heavier precipitation tends to drag down that cold air. Uh, after s Sunday into Monday, uh, remains a little unstable, but verdict's still out in that. Now, as far as rain goes, some heavier pockets up to two inches in the purple there. Um, it looks like basically widespread three quarters inch to uh, an inch and a half of rain. Especially north of the Mass Pike, I think we'll see the most rain. And that's where actually we'll have the most chance of mixing with snow. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of different precipita precipitation types going on here. 
a uh, lot to be worked out. We might just have to see how this goes as April can bring very unpredictable weather, guys. But I think best chance of snow seems to be right in this little small area I've highlighted here. As that's where we'll be getting that northwest wind and cold damming. Right in that area we could see one to three inches, even as much as four inches of snow. It is possible, guys. Uh, this is not without the realm of possibility. That's it for today for Anthony SNE Weather .ning .com vidcast guys. Visit me on my homepage for constant updates. And I'll be around today and tonight for more updates on this storm. Thanks guys. That's it for today. Over and out.